is SharePoint 2013. We have a whole presentation out that's deep dives into the search experiences on SharePoint 2013. Uh, all the information that you would probably ever want. Uh, there's probably 30 slides on one of the decks. Robert uh, uh, Piddock, one of my co-authors for a lot of these webcasts and, and the book Pro SharePoint 2010 Search, and he's author a lot of other, other things out there. Um, I think he's on the line uh, with us. Robert, um, are, you, uh, are you on the audio? Can you hear hey, me? Hey, Robert. <laughs> so, so Robert uh, is is one of probably the biggest experts out there on the new search capability on SharePoint 2013. So, I want to make sure that he's he's available to answer questions as well. And he's he's the one that wrote that really great deep article all about um, the all the new functionality in SharePoint 2013 and insights into into what you'll what you'll get there as far as search. He's also uh, my hero because he has managed to be probably the only person I've seen set up an Office web app server to be able to drive the previews um, on this site. So let's uh, let's dive into the search capability here. So you'll notice just some some design changes right off the back. Uh, for example, your you now have tabs for searching videos and searching reports on the Enterprise um, Search Center. You'll notice that refiners have received a bit of a visual overhaul here. Uh, one of the cool things about that, I have not set up a PDF eye filter here. PDFs are actually indexed right out of the box, which <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are going to be rejoicing um, over that. Uh, doesn't mean that things like Fox and yeah, Foxit's iFilter are necessarily obsolete because they do some other things in the way that they can grab some metadata and the speed and things. But you don't have to install Adobe iFilter. Uh, you'll also notice a, a visual overhaul here on your last modified date. So you can actually get a little slider here that will change your last modified date. It's a little bit slow here. Uh, I'll admit that uh, it's SharePoint 2013 is a bit of a resource hog. If you're testing this thing out, I would probably recommend at least 8 gigs of, of RAM on there. We've been answering some tweets that were uh, about that over the last uh, last couple of days. Um, so there's still a little uh, some work in progress. For example, I now my date refiner is is gone. So let's see if I can get that back. You'll notice some little oddball things, so I'm sure they'll be fixed by by the time that uh, that you get to final release. And you get this message a whole lot working on it. Um, okay, so I lost my date refiner, but you did see that there's a little bit of a slider there. Um, one of the interesting things that we'll probably get a lot of questions about is the preview capability. And let me move this chat window out of the way so I'm not blocking that for you. So the, in native SharePoint 2013, there is now a preview capability. Now, um, Don and Kathy, don't go rip my head off here. It doesn't do anything like what you guys have. Um, <laughs> it, uh, it, it is Office Web Apps driven. So if you've experienced the preview in Fast for SharePoint 2010, Almost the exact same concept. Um, only works on uh, on uh, PowerPoint and Word files. Um, if you have a Word file here, you'll notice that you have a little side window that comes up, and you can theoretically scan through the document. There we go. Well, maybe. So I can go through pages of the document. And you'll notice it doesn't do the hit highlighting or in document search or anything like that that you see on on AA and A. Uh, but it is nice that you can actually visualize these, and it's essentially downloading the document into your into your browser cache. So I mean, this is this is a very very different architecturally than any if you. Met, uh, messed with Ontalica before. Uh, David Gordon actually has a full blog all about the preview capability. Um, you'll also notice that the preview window you now can click a button here and it'll open up that document in a separate browser but again you'll notice it has to download again anybody that's set up preview on fast uh, should be very 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 familiar with this <laughs> I'll let that load and we'll go back to my search center here let's grab a PowerPoint just so you can kind of see the differences there I have a couple PowerPoints here. PowerPoints, you'll notice you do get a first page preview uh, as well, and then the Office Web Apps preview that uh, that was common to uh, uh, SharePoint 15 if you set it up. 
the preview capability does require a second server, so you need what's called an Office Web App Server, which is a, a whole separate server, and Robert, I think, has a blog coming out all about how to set that up. Um, I think it took him about three days, and uh, <laughs> he wasn't very yeah. happy with me when I asked him to do it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but that's now now available there. Uh, Robert, any any particular things that you think that we should we should point out here? Unless I'm getting any chat questions about it. Yeah, <clears throat> the the preview for Office Web Apps is very cool. But the Office Web Apps application is not just about search preview, of course. It's so you can preview and edit your documents in line in the browser. And this is something that Microsoft has kind of you know, built in as a response to things like Google Apps and, and other um, online applications. So um, the fact that we can get preview and search for it is kind of a cool thing. But of course, there are a lot of limits about what it can do. And you have to realize that the Office Web Apps preview is not really a lightweight preview. It's actually a separate server that downloads the file converts it to a HTML kind of format and then returns it back. So you're actually seeing a lighter weight version of the entire file when you um, when you when you bring that back. Also there's not a lot you can you can do else with it, but it is nice that it comes uh, that it, it is available. I think probably the Office Web App server is going to come up with a separate SKU so it'll be an additional license fee as well. However, yeah, like I said, if you need inline editing of your documents in a browser, then the Office Web App Server is a is a cool addition to the to SharePoint 2013. And maybe that's a good way to a good thing to segue into as well uh, about uh, Fast for anybody that's listening. And we've mentioned Fast a couple times. Um, Fast is no longer going to be a SKU in um, SharePoint 2013 unless something drastically changed. Um, it uh, it's now all been consolidated into into standard or enterprise um, SharePoint search, so there's not that extra le level of fast on top. So a lot of the features of fast have now been integrated into into base SharePoint, especially on the back end side, how you con the uh, content processing. Uh, not all the features, but a lot, uh, but a lot of them have been integrated down uh, in, into base. Uh, I, I've heard two positions on the fast. Uh, and, and SharePoint 2013. The one position is that, uh, kind of my position, if you will, is that Fast is no longer a product. And some of the Fast features have been taken from in the Fast code, have been taken and integrated into SharePoint 2013. And that's some of the coolest, neatest, greatest features of Fast. They've pulled them over and um, put them into a really uh, better scalable, more feature-rich um, search product that will basically do any kind of enterprise search you want. With that said, there are some things that didn't come out over, like JDBC connections and the fast web crawler, um, and some people may miss those. Uh, I'm not exactly sure of the limits of uh, the pipeline and what you can do in the pipeline with 2013 yet. Uh, but I do know you can build con custom entity extractions with it. So that is also something that came over. The second position, and the one that I just read on somebody's blog post today, was that now Fast comes free with SharePoint, which I think is kind of misleading because you're not getting the entire Fast uh, product with there. But then on the other hand, you're not getting all of the pain that comes with the entire Fast product. So um, I think they've really done a great job of taking the best features and integrating it into 2013. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing what we can do to enhance that. And to take advantage, really, of a lot of that, that enterprise search functionality, just like in SharePoint 2010, you're going to have to still scale out your, your architecture. So you will... Uh, you, know, you need more more servers for you know dedicated search you know search components and things like that to really make the the query speed uh, achieve what you what you got out of fast. Um, you know fast obviously required a lot of additional servers to to run optimally. Um, and same thing happens with with uh, 2013. So uh, you know speculating, I, I would assume that there that Microsoft probably has some sort of licensing arrangement in place where uh, people that have fast migrating into SharePoint 2013, some sort of license swap, but uh, uh, I don't make those those decisions. Um, <laughs> uh, so if there's anything here that you want to see in particular, let me know. Uh, one of the things to 
point out is personal favorites. Uh, now, uh, SharePoint is actually going. It tracks your hits, what you've actually clicked on. It begins to build you a little list of personal favorites. It's kind of interesting though, because if you look at the reporting, you can't get reporting down to personal level. Um, it just has this feature on the on the, the front end. Uh, but again, nice way to help supplement. Uh, some of the best bet functionality that has to be set up a bit more manually. Uh, this is this personal favorites is uh, very similar to what we have with auto suggest and related queries um, with on Ontolica search. Uh, Processing is a little bit different, but um, uh, similar concept. Any questions? This is the, yeah. like, the meeting with the least number of questions ever. <laughs> Actually, I have some questions on the mm -hmm. uh, search. Uh, now, is this out of the box SharePoint 2013 search, or do you have uh, anything from Ontalica on here? There, other than me putting a little logo right here, there's nothing from Ontalica on here yet. We will have uh, all the Ontalica modules will be available in, in uh, their existing state on, on Go Live of SharePoint 2013. Uh, but you don't see it in this in this environment uh, yet, right? And uh, going forward, then, since the preview is uh, working off those Microsoft apps on the out of the box version of SharePoint with Antalica, uh will we need an additional app server to do previews, or will Antal uh, like it is here, or do we? Uh, or would so, we be uh, able to? Would Antalica work as it does today, which it doesn't require any additional right. hardware uh, we, for that? Right. We can already we can already install on development servers. We can install Antalica in its native state, like you see it on your site right now. We can install that onto SharePoint 2013. Okay. Um, and cool. So that exact same functionality will carry across. And if if you choose to do that, just like Fast, Fast has the ability to off. Uh, you can install Office web apps. You can actually, I've seen it done before, have an Office Web Apps preview next to a regular preview uh, or on Talica preview. Nobody ever goes live with that, but it's something I've seen in sandboxes. Um, so I don't see a reason that you couldn't you couldn't have some sort of integration between between those two. But you know, Office Web Apps preview is 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 pretty is pretty heavy. So if that's kind of what you're what you're you're asking about is okay, what type of servers am I going to have to do to get this? This running, you know, it's still going to be Ontolic is still going to be lightweight uh, in 2013. Yeah, I just didn't know if you guys were going to start leveraging um, uh, the previews that are out of the box SharePoint 2013 with those apps, or if you still had your own that was, like you said, pretty lightweight. And, yeah, um, we, I, I don't, I don't envision the team taking it and and integrating it in an Office web apps version. It's just, it, it's it's too heavy for mo most of our clients want to really, you know, be be deploying. Yeah, I mean, we've been happy with the preview in Antalica, so yeah. We so anybody out there that's watching this, you know, don't, don't worry that the architecture is not just going to blow up on you. Uh, it's going to be the same uh, architecture in the, in the 2013 version. Uh, have you seen like the upgrade path for from 2010 to 2013? I mean, is there is there some sort of tool or? Uh, Robert, have you I'm seen essentially looking at yet? level of difficulty from moving from 2010 to 2013. Yeah, we don't know about that. That, yeah. that yet. That's still a bit early. There's some webinars out there already about uh, no pain upgrades and things like that, but we'll have to see what you know what the methodology is, especially with you know a public-facing site that always comes later. You're going to get yeah. the vanilla vanilla ones first, and then see what happens. Yeah. I also wanted to ask, is the architecture now I know like when when two thousand seven shift to, to twenty ten, the SSP essentially went away and you know, the services became more integrated with uh SharePoint. Um I, I just wondered has there been any large architecture shifts? Like that with 2013 versus 2010. From the admin's viewpoint, the search service application is pretty much exactly the same. There are some architectural changes because some of the components have been 
moved around and some ad some added because of the integration of the fast pieces, let's call it. I wouldn't even call it that because a lot of the stuff that they've done is very is not really noticeable as being part of what fast could do. But um like there's fast a fast light it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, you know, the thing about it is they they've done a lot of work and they've taken a lot of their Expert, technical expertise around FAST and put it into SharePoint 2013. But there's nothing that you can really look at or very little that you can really look at and say, ah, that's something from FAST. So um, maybe property extractions. But, you know, if I was going to build a search engine from scratch, I would do the same thing. So it's, uh, it's really hard to see that there's any kind of FAST in there, which is why I would tend to say that it's not really just fast being put into SharePoint 2013. It's actually a new enhancement of the existing product that is that is a lot stronger. So things like query rules and different kinds of uh, result sources, um, federation gets a bit of a of a boost. One other really cool thing that you that we're going to find for internal organizations, not really for public pacing websites, is that the same engine is being put into um, Exchange. So you can actually consume search results from Exchange into SharePoint. And uh, you can have search for your own mailbox in SharePoint. Of course, you're not going to get them in line with the other results because that will be considered a federated result. But you can actually have a, a tab on your internal search page that says, okay, give me all the results from my mailbox. And from public folders, of course, but uh, so you can actually get that. But that'll be a search engine that sits on the Exchange server that you just call the results from. So instead of uh, what a lot of people were demanding was that the search engine in, in SharePoint be able to index the Exchange server, what they did is they actually just put a better search engine on the Exchange server, which people are going to love anyways because then they'll be able to search from Outlook properly. So, uh, so really cool stuff there as well.